guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'll be doing my intimidating TBR tag. <laughs> on reading tagged me to do this tag back in June and right now in August I am finally doing it. This tag was actually really hard to like answer all the questions from because most of the times I was just like oh man I don't know if I have a book for that or oh man this is freaking hard. Question number one is what book have you been unable to finish and that is a book that I have been reading since the end of June or the beginning of July but then I had my test week with school and then I finished that and then I tried to do the booktube-a-thon, definitely failed at that because I had all these other things. I was doing lots of things with friends and I had to pack my bags for America. Then I had America going on and I was reading a different book. And right now I only have 40 pages left of this super small, fast-paced children's book and I still haven't finished it and it is Baker's Magic by Diane Zaylor. It is a really fun book about this girl who discovers that she has like baking powers. It involves pirates, it involves magic, it involves baking, and a bad king. It's been so long and I don't know if I truly remember everything that happened before those last 40 pages, but I was really enjoying it. Question number two is what book have you yet to read because you haven't had the time? So for that one, I'm gonna pick The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater because everyone has been talking about this series, especially the last couple of months since The Raven King came out, and I have been very interested in it. I absolutely know nothing about it. Well, that's not true, but I don't know much. I just really want to find out like what all the hype is about and I just want to see if I enjoy it just as much. I hope so. But I just haven't had the time to pick it up and I've been meaning to do so, so I think that I should. Question number three is a book you haven't read because it's a sequel and for this one I'm gonna pick a book that I don't even own, but I want to own and I will own one day and that is Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. This is the fourth book in the Throne of Glass series and I have yet to read the third one. I have started it last summer, last year, did not succeed in finishing it, but I still plan to read it this year. But yeah, it's the fourth book and everyone has been talking about it and right now book five Empire of Storms is coming out within like the next two weeks and I just feel the pressure to read all of these books so much. Question number four is a book you haven't read because it's brand new and for this one I could have picked lots of books because I just hauled a couple of books in my America slash August book haul. If you guys want to see that video you can click right here. But the book that I chose for this one is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Not only is this book over 500 pages which I actually really enjoy because I love it when a contemporary book book is over 400 pages and yeah, it's Morgan Madsen, so <laughs> what do you want more? It's just brand new and I haven't really had the time to pick it up because I'm currently reading a book that I also got, which is brand new. I'm just still obsessing over this cover, like it's just too pretty. Question five, a book by an author you read previously but didn't really like. So for this one I have to say Cinda Williams Chima because I read The Warrior Air back in February or March and I did not finish it. And I don't do that very often with books, so that shows how much I did not like that book. But I have heard amazing things about her other series, I think it's called the Seven Realm series, with the first book being The Demon King, and I have had that book on my TBR for a little while, I don't have it in my possession. If you guys have read The Warrior Air and you didn't really enjoy it, and you have read The Demon King and you did enjoy it, let me know in the comments because then I might feel more encouraged to pick that one up. Question six, a book on your TBR pile that you're just not in the mood for to read. So I don't really have like a theme or genre that I'm just like, not in the mood for, but I do think that I'm gonna have to go with Peter Penn by J.M. Barry, and that is mainly because I read Alice in Wonderland last month and whew, that one was just not what I expected and not in a good way. I don't know what it was with Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, but right now I'm very hesitant to pick up another children's classic, but I just hope that J.M. Barry's writing style is different from Lewis Carroll's writing style because there was not a lot of action, there was just a lot of telling and hard words and boringness and I hope that this one will be a lot better. Question number seven, a book on your TBR pile that you haven't read because it's enormous. So I could have said A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas but I'm currently reading it so it's not on my TBR pile anymore, it's on my currently reading pile. But if it was on my TBR pile, 
this one because it's 640 pages. For right now, another huge book that is on my TBR pile that I have to read this year is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Again, I've showed this book in a couple of my latest videos because I have been meaning to read this but I just haven't come around to because it is also 550 pages and I have read two fantasy books right now straight after each other and at a certain point that's just like enough and I need to take a break from fantasy so it will be maybe a little while before I start this one and I don't like that because I do want to finish this series but then again not. Question number eight, a book on your TBR you bought because of the cover and then afterwards you read that it had like a little bit of like bad reviews. This one, I couldn't really pick one, but maybe this one and that is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. So I'm so mad at myself for getting the paperback edition because right now I do have more money because of my job and the hardcover is beautiful and it was on Amazon for super cheap, but I restrained myself and I was like, nope, I need to stop buying books right now. The cover of this I think is pretty Pretty. It's not like beautiful, but it is pretty and it like caught my eye because of the bright colors and a lot of people enjoyed it But there are a couple of people who were like nope this is not it. It's like such a Harry Potter ripoff. Like it is really, really inspired by Harry Potter. Um, but I'm like not mad about that, but I'm just kind of afraid that it will disappoint me because Rainbow Rowell hasn't written any fantasy before. And then, yeah, I just, oh, I don't know. Okay, guys. And then the final question, question number nine, the book on your TBR you find the most intimidating. And yeah, again, I have mentioned this book a couple of times. I even have mentioned this book in this video. And that book is Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass. It's just that, oh man, the second book, Crown of Midnight, was absolutely amazing. And it has been over a year since I read that one. And last year when I tried to read this one, I just did not understand what the hell was going on. And I just just sort of like, uh-uh, did not finish it at like page 70. But I totally think that I need to like reread Crown of Midnight and I also have to read The Assassin's Blade and then I can get into this one. And I hope that I will be able to understand everything. And I love Sarah J Mass's writing and her characters and her world building. It's also really big. It's like 550 pages or something. Not too intimidated by the size of it, but just like, I want to enjoy this book so badly and I'm afraid that I won't. So that was the intimidating TBR tag. I won't tag anyone in particular because a lot of people have already done this tag or have been tagged. But if you really enjoyed this video and you think that this is a tag that you absolutely need to do, just do it. Feel free to do it. I tag you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!